الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الله سبحانه وتعالى سيز يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وكونوا مع الصادقين So you who believe beware of your Lord and be with the righteous with the truthful وكونوا مع الصادقين Also Allah سبحانه وتعالى سيز وَالْمُوفُونَ بِعَهْدِهِمْ Those who keep you, their promises. The Prophet وسلم, is also highlighting the importance of being truthful and keeping you our promises. And he mentioned that <coughs> it's only the hypocrites that have these traits. And he mentioned in the hadith, the hadith that we all know, آيَةُ الْمُنَافِقِ ثَلَاثِ he mentioned three traits of hypocrites. The first is that they, they will, if they talk, they will lie. And if they promise, they will not keep their promises. And they will not observe the trust, the amana. These are not the only traits of hypocrites. They are not the only bad traits that anyone can have. But they are, they are <coughs> so bad that they summarize the traits of hypocrisy. Those who have these three traits, the Prophet ﷺ said, they didn't leave any room uh, to be outside of hypocrisy. That means the believer should be far away from any of these traits. The, the believer, number one, is telling the truth, a siddiq Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling us to be truthful. To tell the truth is number one slogan of a believer. A Muslim slogan number one is to tell the truth. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala expects from us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself is telling us, be with the truthful. Regardless who they are. Kunu sadiqeen Be with them wherever these truthful are. Wherever there is something that calls for the truth, be with it. Huh? The Muslim is the one who calls for the truth because this is the absolute Islam. And look, Allah is the absolute truth of this world, of this universe. This is why he will not accept anything but that. And if a Muslim cannot be proper Muslim if they lie. The Prophet وسلم, in another hadith, he mentioned that the Muslim could commit many sins but one sin that he will not do, which is lying. Committing a lie is a grave mistake. Um, any Muslim should be far away from that, and we should avoid and abstain from that. And if we fall into this mistake, we should come quickly and come back and fix it. Telling the truth is number one slogan of a believer. The Prophet ﷺ was known as a sadiq al amin before even he got the message. He was well known by that. And a Muslim should always tell the truth, no matter how, <coughs> how bitter that is, no matter how difficult it is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ya ayyuhalladina amanu, kunu qawwamina bil qist. O you who believe, Stand for the truth, even if it's against yourselves, or your parents, or your relatives, or your friends. <coughs> no matter what, stand by the truth regardless what the consequences are. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling us for. This is number one trait. And of course, there are many branches of this trait. The other one is, if you promise, a believer will keep their promises. A believer will always keep the promise. Whereas a hypocrite will always break their promises. It's not appropriate for a Muslim to make any appointment and not to observe and respect their appointment. It's not appropriate for any Muslim to sign any contract and break that contract. It's not accepted. It's a sign of a hypocrite, not a believer. A believer will be far away from not observing this promise. If I make any promise, I will observe it. The Prophet ﷺ has given us great examples in that. 
that once he had some commitment to meet someone at a certain time. So the Prophet ﷺ was waiting and waiting, waiting until the next, and even the next day he came the same time to wait for the person. And when that person came, the Prophet ﷺ said, you made it very difficult for me. The Prophet ﷺ is waiting for that person. He didn't show up. And he came the next morning and the next day on the same time to meet that person. And when he came, he said, you shouldn't do that. You should observe your uh, commitments. You should respect your appointments. That's just an appointment that some people take it too lightly. This is not acceptable from a believer. A Muslim will always respect their timing. We respect that the Jum'ah is at, at, at a certain time. We should be here on time. We, we have any appointment, we should be there on time or before time if we have to. A Muslim is far away from their breaking their promises. You make any promise, you keep it. And you know what? The, the most important promise that we should observe and respect is our promise with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ يُوفُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praised Prophet Ismail innahu kana sadiq al-wa'di Prophet Ismail Ismail, you know, Prophet Ismail the son of Ibrahim Ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam Ismail, his eldest son Allah praised him as innahu kana sadiq al-wa'di wa kana rasool al-nabiyya he was fulfilling his promises it's so important that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is praising his messenger because he's keeping his promises. We need to. We need to show Allah that we do observe these traits. So we deserve to be Muslims. We deserve to be believers. Keeping the promise with Allah, keeping the promise with anyone, we make any promise. We have another promise. We give a promise that we follow the Prophet ﷺ and convey his message. We stick to it, the Prophet ﷺ before he died. He said, لا ترجعوا بعدي كفارا يضرب بعضكم رقاب بعض Don't revert after me to disbelief. By what Ya Rasulullah? He said to kill one another, to shed the blood of one another. This is another commitment that we have given to the Prophet ﷺ that we will not do. And unfortunately, some people breached that. Some people did not respect that and we could see many of the innocent blood is being shed nowadays and before this is not the trait of believers or, or even muslims no we respect that and we should stick to that promise with the prophet وسلم, that we follow him his way when we say we follow his sunnah it's not the extra two rak'ahs that we make after salah it's his way it's his faith the Prophet Sunnah means his way. Sunnah in Arabic means way, means a method, means a path. So when we say follow the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu means we need to be Muslims, number one. That's the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu That's his way. Uh, so we follow that by follow his way. He's doing that. He was just, he was fair, he was honest, he was uh, lenient, he was soft, uh, he was merciful. That's his way. And we follow him. If we truly follow him, we need to keep that promise. We gave the promise to follow the Rasul, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, that yes, the Prophet believed, and the messengers, we likewise, well, mu'minun. We gave the same allegiance, so we need to stick to that. And finally, and if they uh, given a trust, they betray the trust. They don't observe or they don't respect the trust they have. The Prophet ﷺ said, Kullukum mas'ul. Kullukum. Kullukum ra'in. Kullukum ra'in wa kullukum mas'ulun an ra'iyati. Every one of you has a level of responsibility and will be questioned about that responsibility. Responsibility is the trust. That is the amana. That is the amana that you've been entrusted with. Everyone, and the Prophet ﷺ gave examples of that. He said, Al-Imam Ra'in, the head of the state, Lan Yaruh Ra'ihat Al-Jannah. Anyone who was given a trust and, does, and betrays that trust. 
If you're giving a trust, uh, he said, the father has a trust at home, the mother has a trust at home, the servant, the, the employee has, he gave examples of this, and he said, everyone, kullukum ra'in wa kullukum mas'ul. Everyone, even the children have responsibility at home, at school. Everyone has a responsibility and should observe it. Do it right. Fear Allah with this responsibility. Do it right and expect the return from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These three traits, my brothers and sisters, will keep us uh, afloat as good Muslims, as good believers, telling the truth, fulfilling our promises, and observing the trust, the amana. If we do that, then we deserve to be Muslims and we deserve to be khayra ummatin ukhrijat fil nas. Then we could, we could deserve the title of being the, nest, the best nation sent out to people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, we cannot be the best by claims. Everyone can make any good claim. But every claim has uh, some substance or none. To have some substance, we need to observe these traits. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us good Muslims, good believers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of the truthful. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those who observe the amana. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to the straight path. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make peace prevail in this land and all around the world. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa salli Allahumma wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi.